What is going on, guys? Grave here today. I want to talk about things that, uh, in my opinion, that I have I've been seeing lately that I think new players are, are struggling with, new players find challenging, whatever the case may be. And I, I should have probably made this video a while back because all my videos here on, on the channel, no matter what game I'm, I'm trying to you know do a video about, whatever video I upload, I want it to be helpful to everyone. So hopefully this will kind of answer some of your questions as a new player. Uh, hopefully this will give you some ideas of where to go to find out some information. You always can leave a comment down in the comment section if you need to ask something about the Elder Scrolls Online or any game that I, of course that I upload. And I will do my very best to answer it. Or if I don't know the answer, which I may not, uh, I, don't, I don't know everything about every game. I wish I did, but sadly it's not like that. Uh, I will definitely find out uh, an answer for you. The first thing I think a lot of people get worried about is exactly, you know, how to do certain things like, you know, what gear do they need? Uh, what, what classes should they make? You know, what's the best thing to have? What's meta? A lot of people hear that word meta if you're a new player. A lot of people get stressed about that because it seems like a lot. And the game does pile a lot on you. If you've bought an edition of the game that has a lot of different zones in it, you're going to be kind of thrown into all kinds of stuff to do when it comes to questing to doing dungeons to learning how to do trials eventually, whatever the case may be, solo dungeons. Um, there's a lot of stuff in the game, and sometimes it doesn't explain everything as well as it could. Uh, one place that I can tell you that if you ever have any question that is most likely going to be answered by the best person uh, out there to, to answer, it's going to be the ESO University website or the ESO University Discord if you do have a question you need to ask someone directly. Nephis has put together a great website, a great uh, Discord with tons of content creators that can answer questions from anything to combat to housing, to even even how to make gold uh, from you know trading or whatever the case may be. So make sure you check out the Discord and the website for ESO University. I will link it down in the description. It's a place that I go to read a lot of info about uh, different things in game. I, I, even though I've played this game since 2015 on console, I, I still learn a lot every day. I mean, no one knows everything. If they tell you they do, uh, well, that's you, you kind of know <laughs> what I'm going to say. They, they really don't. Uh, that's why I've always tried to be helpful as much as I can. Uh, like I said, with these videos. And that's kind of just the whole point of this is trying to help people out because I understand joining guilds is kind of a, a daunting thing for some players. Some people may not like to be sociable and I can understand that you don't want to maybe communicate with other people. You just don't like it. Some people think it's, you know, it can make them, you know, nervous, uncomfortable. I get it. Uh, I, I've been like that. I've been in that situation myself. But really joining a guild is a very helpful thing in game. You always are more than welcome to join my guild here on PlayStation 4. If you play on the NA servers, just leave me a comment in any video and I can invite you. Uh, but joining a guild is a, a very helpful thing. Learning how to play the game in general. Uh, don't really worry about, you know, meta stuff, finding your best gear until you're around 160 CP. Once you get to that point, that is one of the one of the times you start, need to start learning, you know, exactly what gear you need, exactly how to, how to use your build. But up until that point, in my opinion, it's the best to learn what the skills do learn what skills you need, and also kind of learn a rotation with those. It doesn't have to be perfect because you're not going to have everything unlocked right off the bat. But when you start to uh, kind of learn these things early on, it makes learning the combat system later on, weaving, trying to do more damage, you know, getting your D DPS up if you're a DPS character. It makes it a lot easier later on if you already know the kind of basic steps, the basic process. The same goes for a tank or for a healer. If you already know the basic steps, once you get to 160, you have lots of skills unlocked. It makes everything a lot easier. One thing I can recommend, and I always say this, is if you're on your very first character you've ever made, do not power level it. Go through and do a lot of the story zones. Uh, you get lots of skill points that way. Make sure you're out finding sky shards in all the areas. Make sure you're out in every zone that you have available to you doing public dungeons, killing the uh, kind of group boss. You get one skill point for that. Because in the end, skill points are very important when it comes to skills, when it comes to the different, you know, like the Fighter's Guild, Mage's Guild, uh, Sigic Order, uh, if you want to do any kind of crafting, if you want to do scrying, you're going to need tons and tons of skill points. Uh, if you're wanting to do, uh, you know, like your daily crafting, you know, stuff every day and you want to have points in everything, you're going to need a lot of skill points. So don't get in a big hurry trying to just get to 160 because that's where everybody says that you need to be because that's when, you know, your max level gear is going to drop. You want to make sure that you have the skill points available so when you get to that point, it's not going to be you're having to go back out and grind even more, even though you just kind of grinded your character to get to that point quickly, you're going to have to go out and grind skill points anyway. So in my opinion, it's the best to learn how to play the game through the story, how to play the game, you know, through doing all these different activities you can do. And last but not least, uh, never be afraid to ask for help. 
Um, that is probably the main point of this video. Uh, the ESO community is a very, very helpful community, very kind community. Always, the majority of people you're going to run into are going to be uh, willing to help you with it, no matter what it is. Now, I'm not going to say there's not going to be those people out there that are kind of elitist players that think they know everything, that tell you that you're not doing it right or whatever the case may be. Uh, just ignore them. Uh, that's going to be in any game you play. But for the most part, I would say 99%, 95% of the ESO community is extremely helpful and always willing to give you, uh, you know, some information if you just ask. And I, like I said, kind of back with the whole guilt thing, I know it may make some people kind of uncomfortable to talk with folks they don't know. Believe me, I understand that. I understand how you feel about that. But always ask. It's always a good thing to ask. And then, then you never know. You know, you might find a, a new friend to play with. You might find someone that can invite you to their guild that can be very helpful. But just overall, don't be afraid to ask questions because that is one of the best ways, in my, in my opinion, as a new player to learn the game. Of course, guys, leave me a comment with your thoughts. If you liked it, hit the like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time.